Welcome to the Wednesday, May 23rd, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Moark Eggs. In today's report, what does a credit downgrade on the Japanese yen mean for U.S. markets? And later, we take a look at the USDA's April Code Storage Report. Now, let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. New data from Mintel Menu Insight shows the number of U.S. menu items with poultry as an ingredient has climbed an average of 12% in the last three years and is expected to continue to increase in the next one to two years. The greatest growth has come from casual dining segments, followed by fast casual eateries. Chicken fingers are the top poultry dish and have shown a 10% increase on menus from the first quarter of 2009 to the first quarter of 2012, dominating quick service restaurants and family to mid-scale settings due in large part to children's menus and appetizer lists. Buffalo wings continue to fly high in menu mentions with a 19% increase in the same time frame. Where chicken sandwiches show a steep decline at negative 36%, chicken wraps are picking up the slack by increasing their menu mentions by 35%. Pizza is also jumping on the chicken bandwagon with a 26% increase of chicken as a pizza topping. The new trend of chicken snacks is also taking menus by storm. From McDonald's Chicken McBites to Whataburger's new What a Chicken Bites and White Castle's Chicken Rings, snack sized dip friendly chicken is a new part of the quick service restaurant roster. With so much competition, full-piece white meat chicken and distinct sauces are emerging as the ways to set one brand apart from the next. For more on the poultry industry's increasing dominance on U.S. restaurant menus and for other news in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now, red meat market reporter Russell Barton explains how a recent credit downgrade on the Japanese yen could mean for further gains in the U.S. commodity markets. Due to ongoing economic headwinds, some of which have been in existence for decades, the credit rating agency Fitch downgraded Japan to a with a negative outlook early Tuesday morning. This event is significant as the Japanese yen holds position as the primary alternative to the U.S. dollar as an ultimate safe haven. As you can see from the chart presented, High yielding or riskier currencies such as the Australian dollar have seen substantial declines as investors flee into the US dollar following a series of negative European headlines. However, in a contrasting move, the US dollar yen pair has also declined notably as investors move funds from the dollar into the yen. With a credit downgrade, some large institutions will be potentially unable to invest in the yen, leaving the US dollar as destination number one on the safety list. This creates the potential for further gains in Erner Barry's red meat dollar indices, which as we discussed last week, recently surpassed 2012 highs. This move could lead to further relief for domestic importers and increased difficulty on an already shaky export market. Thanks, Russell. To wrap up today's video, Erner Barry's Michael Ramsing takes a look at the USDA's April Cold Storage Report. According to the USDA's April Cold Storage Report, total frozen poultry supplies on April, 20, April 30, 2012 were up 10% from the previous month, but down 6% from a year ago. Total stocks of chicken were up 6% from the previous month, but down 18% from last year. Total pounds of turkey in freezers were up 17% from last month uh, and up 20% from April 30, 2011. Total red meat supplies in freezers are up 5% from the previous month and up 19% from last year. Total pounds of beef in freezers are up 3% from the previous month and up 17% from last year. Meanwhile, frozen pork supplies were up 8% from the previous month and up 20% from last year. Stocks of pork bellies were up 13% from last month and up 41% from last year. Thanks, Michael. That wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Moark Eggs. For more than 50 years, Moark has grown their business with a commitment to adding real value to their products and services, providing old-fashioned customer service that is tested and proven to meet your needs. Visit them online at www.moarkllc.com or give them a call at 866-757-EGGS.